guys, welcome to the video. Uh, this one I'm going to keep eh, somewhat condensed. I don't know how long it's actually going to get. Haven't even started editing it yet. But I uh, wanted to show you guys a couple spots. One of them, a uh, cool spot on the side of a mountain. A, a no-go around spot where you're definitely committed when you come into land. Pretty interesting little deal there. Fairly technical, fun spot. The other one was very technical, very challenging, tough, tight canyon with a river. And... Uh, you know, it was just there's a sharp turn both on uh, right before you touch down and a sharp turn right after you leave the ground. And so no matter which way you come in, um, you got to deal with that. Uh, trying not to get too carried away with this one. I want to get it done before Christmas. It's only a matter of days away, and I don't even have my tree up yet. Um, but anyway, Merry Christmas to you guys. Happy New Year. Anyway, thanks for watching. Enjoy the video, and enjoy the holidays. This is a pretty wild spot and uh, it's super steep. So sometimes you gotta improvise a little bit. Um, I have a parking brake, but I don't wanna trust just that. Anyway, yeah, this was a steep one. Uh, definitely no go around. Um, even with a lot of power like I've got, I mean, if I aborted early, uh, you know, I could go around, but once you're about to touch the ground, if something doesn't look right, you're committed on this one. On final, I had really nice low ground speed, but when I got down to about 50 feet above the ground, I just lost all of it. And it is almost calm here on the ground. So I had to throw quite a bit of power to it to keep it in the air because I was riding it in slow, of course. Being a no-go around spot, you wanna manage and come in with as little extra energy as possible. It's a beautiful area. Um, super steep up there the uh, i don't know how well you can see it with this camera i don't have my other cameras today but the big rocky uh ridge up there at the top of the mountain is is really pretty but this looked like the smoothest area on the other side over there i was checking it uh coming down the ridge on the other or coming down the mountain on the other side of this ridge and it's just you know the grass was really thick and clumpy you start getting into this stuff here and uh yeah, the airplane can handle it, but rocks can be hiding in there. It is a pretty rough ride, so try to avoid it if possible, you know. It's too bad this camera flattens everything out because, man, I'll tell you what, this is an impressively uh, steep mountain here, steep place to land. See, and this is why 
I didn't try to put it in over on this side. I'm glad I didn't. It's hard to see all this stuff from the air, but there's a ton of rocks on this side. You know, I had spotted a few of the bigger ones, but I didn't even see a lot of this stuff. And uh, that's just part of the deal. When you're up high and your ground speed's high, you know, you're moving fast. Even down low, it's hard to spot this stuff until you get right on the deck and with a really steep uh, uphill landing like this, you can get yourself in trouble if you didn't scout it properly and realize you need to go around so you don't rip the gear off. Well, just about made it up to the pretty much straight up part. So probably around the bend here and head back down the other side and see what's over there. But so this is kind of cool. I've had stuff like this happen a few times over the years, but I rounded the bend here. I came up down the back side of all this. Came up to the spot where it's kind of flat. Beautiful views, nice little rock wall deals here. Some shade, and then I found an old fire pit. And, uh, you know, that's pretty, pretty cool because you can tell it's been a long time, but somebody's been up here and camped right here and a pretty rugged spot. But uh, it's just neat to see stuff like that. I um, always enjoy, you know, just, just the little unique things that you find and see when you're out here. It always make it really fun. Here's a little salute to a mall guy. If you guys ever watch his stuff, he'll pick up the tail and carry it out over the water so that he can get all the room there is on a little short sandbar. I didn't actually have to do it here, although the rocks were bigger and rougher right out towards the water. I don't recommend practicing this out in the field in case something goes wrong, but once you get comfortable being able to taxi with the tail up, it's a nice skill to have if you want to keep your tail wheel out of the rough stuff now and then. So this spot here in the canyon was really tough, really technical spot. This canyon is super narrow, a lot of sharp turns, and not a lot of area to land down on the bottom of it. There was one open area near where I did land, and it looks, in, vi in the video, it looks like it'd be a better place to land, but the reality was it was super rough and uh, just totally unlandable after I got a closer look. But this spot was tough because it's only maybe 300 foot long and we're not as high as a lot of my spots but we're still up over 7,500 feet. And what really made it challenging is there's a turn uh, at either end of this spot. So it doesn't matter which way you approach it. So you're gonna have to make a turn on 
short final and you're going to have to make a turn right after you leave the ground. I'm trying to measure up those con those concerns before I land, both not just can I get in here and land, of course, but also if I do land and the wind does end up shifting around or doing something that causes me to have to take off one direction versus the other, can I make that turn right after departure? Am I going to be able to climb out of this? Okay, so those are things that are running through my head here as I'm scoping out this spot. I'm looking to see how smooth it is and rocks and sticks and lumps. Uh, looking to see can I get slowed down enough, come in over these trees and kind of make a turn and land. And, and then of course the big one, am I going to be able to take off and safely climb out of here? And This spot took a while. I flew around and scoped this out from different angles and checking ground speeds and just looking at a lot of factors. And Of course the more time you spend down in a tight canyon like that, flying around looking at it, that that increases your risk too so you know, there's a balancing act between figuring out if it's landable and doing it or aborting and moving on because you're just spending a lot of time close to the ground and those are tough things because you're trying to make those judgment calls of course while you're in the air doing all the other tasks and there's a lot going on that's that's why I love this kind of flying because it does end up getting challenging and and uh you just you know, there's a lot of focus happening here but ultimately I, I found a path down in here and uh, rolled it a time or two and kind of felt it out and it was a little lumpy but it, nothing real violent so I knew I could I could make it work and uh, was able to get down here and you know I knew this was going to be a pretty spot just looking at it from the air of course really nice pretty remote canyon but when I got down on the ground it was even better than I expected. All right, well, I put a t-shirt on because it is pretty warm in the sun when you're moving around. We'll go this little hike. We'll go check out this uh, kind of this rocky spot. It's part of where I was making my um, approach in. And it's pretty wicked. First three or four spots I went out to look at were a bust. And I thought, eh, this day, it's just not going to not gonna work out. It's not in the cards. But... Kind of working my way back there's one final spot this was it turned out to be a beautiful spot definitely challenging to land but it worked out ice broke off <laughs> that's pretty neat it's kind of neat when it's halfway in between you know well i was trying to stay on this side so i didn't have to cross because uh you know wet feet in a semi-frozen river doesn't sound like a good idea. I may have to backtrack. There's a spot I think I could jump it. I'm just not sure how I'll get back across. Okay, so I made it across. And of course now it's kind of a tight squeeze on this side. <laughs> but I think it'll work out. And I think I found a place to get... Well, no, I have not found a place to get back across yet. But we're going to push on here around this spot. Because uh, we're not too far away from the really cool area it looked like. All right, now we're getting into some stuff. Take a look at this business. <laughs> this is pretty fantastic right there and it wraps around oh my goodness this is really something to see you know it's beautiful from, from the air but it's all happening fast and i'm working coming through that canyon i'm getting to come down here and enjoy it for a little bit man that is something else absolutely beautiful you know this reminds me of that spot i landed a couple videos back had the really tight approach between the trees, really short spot, 9,000, hike down to the river. That was that was wonderful. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on a limb and say this spot is is just even better. I mean, it's without a doubt even more beautiful. Just, I, I it's hard to put in words, you guys. And I hope you're, hope you get some of the feel of it on video. And it's perfect down here. It's t-shirt weather. I mean, what more can you ask for? You know. Yeah, I'm glad I hiked over here, that's for sure. I'm glad I didn't give up on that spot and made a few more passes checking it out because this is just incredible. 
Well, I think I found the end of the line for me today. I could figure out how to cross here and move on, but this is basically what I came down here to see. And it wraps around, it's beautiful around the corner too, but, but I think we got the, the gist of it. Tell you what, you know, flying's magic, no doubt about it. And, uh, and then exploring, you know, the mountains and the back country is magic. And you put the two together and I swear it's just some sort of, it's like it's compounded. All right, well, just getting ready to blast off. It's uh, basically dead calm, or maybe I'm going to have just a touch of a tailwind um, because I want to take off this direction. Both the approaches are bad, and the go-rounds and all of it is just bad here. That's what made it so tough, but this is a little bit more open. you got to make a sharper turn kind of right here at the beginning, but as soon as you do, then you got a lot of room to go out through that canyon, whereas this direction... It also requires a sharp turn, uh, and then it's just more sharp turns and sharp turns, and it's even tighter. So it's worse. Um, I think I had better lift going out that way because of the wind, but I'm going to, you know, since it's basically calm, I'm going to go ahead and, and just uh, shoot out this way. So I'll have landed one way in, one way out on this one, essentially. But uh, yeah, I'm going to blast off and get on home. Right, guys hope you enjoyed the video and just want to say thanks for a great year um channel's grown quite a bit uh there's been a lot of interaction with you guys a lot of great messages emails comments uh patreon supporters um, a lot of you guys have joined up which helps so much thank you very much for that like i've said before you know making these videos it costs money it's a lot of time it's a lot of effort and I, I really do appreciate that support and growing the channel and Patreon and all that stuff because it really helps to to enable me to be able to keep doing this. But but I want to say thanks, too, because it is a creative outlet, and I do get something out of this. And the interaction with you guys and the comments and the emails and all that stuff, it's all really cool. It's awesome. It's a, just an awesome community to be the part of. Aviation is amazing. And... I've gotten emails and messages from you guys this year saying that uh, that I helped inspire some of you guys to, to learn to fly and to, to go after some of those kind of goals. And that is just fantastic. That's awesome. So I'm really glad I got to be a part of that. And, uh, and, and, it's, and, it's, and, and thank you. Thank you guys for, for allowing me to be able to do what I do here. Uh, this really is fun. With that being said, that's all for now. You guys know the deal. Take care. We'll see you next year.